A dangerous section of a mountain highway is known for constantly having rocks fall down on it. It's something drivers in that area know that they have to watch out for. Last night, rocks covered Highway 9 north of Silverthorne, forcing its closure. That's along Green Mountain Reservoir. Matt Kroschel joins us live there tonight along that section of highway. And Matt, it is a challenge trying to keep everyone safe in that area. And you know, Karen, more and more people are using Highway 9 here north of Silverthorne, heading to points like uh, Kremling and Steamboat Springs. That notorious stretch of highway, though, where the rocks rain down, well, a lot of people here say something has to be done. They were just huge. They were really big rocks. Melissa Ferris feels fortunate, even though her Jeep has some damage after hitting rocks on Highway 9 Wednesday night. Came around the corner and I saw this guy waving at me to slow down, so I did. And then I saw the rock slide and I slowed down, but not in, not completely, and I actually went through the rocks. The rock slide happened in a section of cliffs above Green Mountain Reservoir. The loose black rock and dirt hillside frequently gives way, sending debris raining down on the highway. I, I, I was kind of in shock. I didn't know what was going on. And I got out and saw my car and huge rocks, a huge rock pile. A lot of people commute along the road every day. There's no cell phone service in the area, and it's very dark at night. The rock slide zone, as it's known around here, is not a risk they take lightly. On a rainy day or snowy day, when the soil is really soft, it does tend to come down really quick without notice. CDOT has some concrete barriers, but they're battered and not in place along the entire section where the slides often occur. Time does go by. I mean, it's not going to get any better. And with more traffic going that way and coming back, it's just, it's a hazard. I, I had to put it in four-wheel drive to drive it out. For this mom, it's something she can't soon forget, her close call with a tower of rocks. If it, if it was a bigger car instead of a Jeep, it probably would have told the car. CDOT just finished up a multi-million dollar safety project, but that finished uh, just short of where the rock slides occur there on Highway 9. So I asked them if there's any plans in the works right now to put any type of mitigation work in place for those rock slides. They say it's something, of course, they're looking at, but no plans firmly in place as of right now. We're live tonight along Highway 9. Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First. Matt, thank you.